There we go. Hello everybody, Jeff Arsvind here, and well, we are now on to the final quest to get from Sworn to Bloodsworn for the Omicrons. Life, the universe, and coffee beans. You have the strangest feeling that you've forgotten something, or someone. Yep, here come the Nihilists. Precisely, 86... Million four hundred thousand time codes have passed since her latest brewing incident. A new record. This unit's mission satisfaction could not be higher. I don't know about you, but I think we deserve a break. Carter joins for a tall glass of carrot juice. Carrot coffee is also an option, though I would hate to risk our safety record. Carrot coffee. Okay, carrot juice. I understand, but carrot coffee. Is that? I almost dread to ask the question. Is that a thing? Hmm. This unit notes that carrots are still disproportionately represented on the menu, but accept your in invitation. Yeah. Now that's impossible. Disproportion. Yeah. Yes, they are still disproportionately pro projected on the menu, Jammy Way. Good lord. There's too many car There are too many damn carrots on this menu. Fortunately, would have a fit. <laughs> The last Rex has certainly come a long way. Remember when the counter was dusty and musty? I still don't know what civilization originally built these structures, but I like to think they'd be happy to see what we've done with the place. Perhaps they ran a cafe of their own lo long ago. Actually, while you're here, can I trouble you to check in with the patrons? As you will know, customer satisfaction is our first priority, and they wouldn't dare to fob you off with a platitude. <laughs> hey! Nostalgic Grebulov. While the sea's vistas are by far charming, the other scenery of Elysian has proved quite proven quite enjoyable as well. The peaks, the trees, whatever that weird place that the monoliths is. This place, I love it here. Reminds me of home also much as the sea on Elysian. Such a pristine sea it is. Each time I devour a delicious fish, I reaffirm my vow to protect it. One serving of the fish, please. <laughs> Defiant fighter. We came here to research what other vegetables may be of value to the menu, not to discuss personal issues, but you know how he is. It's been quite some time since we began cooperating with this lout, hasn't it? Though I can scarce believe it myself we are as allies now. Some even call us friends, to which I take offense, of course. Perish the thought. <sighs> as if you wouldn't wander over to my side of the garden half a dozen times per shift to raise your suggestions. Perhaps people would possess a more accurate conception of our relationship if you did not so clearly crave my insight. Still, I've come to believe that anyone who enjoys the last dregs as much as I do cannot be all bad, even if he has poor taste in helmets. You've got the same helmet, just different colors. Oh god, it's Celtic and Rangers. <sighs> Argumented Avea. For our next subject of conversation, I propose a relaxing round of should the milk go in first or last? <coughs> no, you or you're not. Mm. That is not a relaxing game. Also, for reference, the milk always goes in last. In cereal, in tea, in coffee, the milk goes in last. Well, mm, depends on how many people you're making the tea for. Depends on how many people you're making the tea and coffee for. At that point, it's tea bag, egg, or the coffee grinds. Well, you've got the, like, the coffee, the tea. Depending if you're making a bunch of them, that's when you do tea, coffee, milk, then water. If, however, you're doing it for yourself, depends how you do it. Cereal, milk always goes in last. Yes, the transmission of other beings' gustatory perception has been most effective. I believe I should like to experience haptic transmissions next. These burns to the ton reported by the beings that consume coffee rapidly sound intriguing. Why do you hasten so? There are yet many gustatory sensations we must experience. The Karelians and Grabulov's perceptions were illuminating. The atmosphere, too, is quite enjoyable. Though the other beings are, naturally, unequipped to discuss the finer mysteries of the universe, the idle chatter pleases me. In fact, I've scarcely rebuked anyone at all. Oh, we seem to be doing quite well. Beleaguered Dragon. Thy consideration is appreciated, hero. For me, tis enough to gaze upon the tiny desert and feel the wind on my scales. Indeed, the true winds of Elysian are divine. Yet I find myself drawn to the pastry nonetheless. The sentiment by which thou didst create it warmeth my heart even now. Aww. So far so good. Everyone's enjoying themselves. Allow this unit to thank you in the perpetually anxious life form stead. Your data collection is appreciated. I am not perpetually anxious. This is a normal amount of concern. But yes, thank you. How did you find our customers? 
Well, I found them over there, over there, over there, and over there. Thank goodness they're still enjoying themselves. I would hate to play host to any more firefights, or fist fights, or food fights. Data from Barista Unit M104 indicates that patron numbers are only increasing. Business future secure. Th this unit personally wishes us to seek out even more civilization's data, nevertheless. Much of the universe remains to be restored to life and hope. Incoming transmission from Stigma 4. New life. Allied units, there is new life on Elysian. Scans indicate more than one additional life form. Oh, don't bore us with the logs. If it's worth scanning, it's worth seeing. Alrighty. So we've got the... Uh, just a little lick. No, don't lick the zappy... Don't z lick the zappy jellyfish. Don't lick the zappy baby. It's a little zappy baby. Don't lick the zappy baby. <laughs> you... Uh, bloody seals. <laughs> bloody seals. This unit will not spoil any further revelations. Let us proceed. Okay... Let's take a look-see. What do we have? <coughs> BB Dragons! <coughs> Sweet mother, stick before I wasn't kidding. Not that I can. Look over there. Hello. That's new. That's the nihilist lot. Huh. Interesting. Ah! What are you doing here? Not you. <sighs> As your companion suggested, we have traversed the dead worlds of Ultima Thule. We have seen its despair. We have seen the tragedy of the forgotten and the sorrow of those who forget themselves. This is well. I will kick your ass. Yet this star is different. There is life here. There is change. This unit understands that this is difficult for you to accept. The mission to live is no simple matter. Then why do you grasp for life in a universe that will one day die? Why seek to change that which cannot be changed? This unit hopes you will not take this as a personal attack but it would assert that a broad perspective is required. It is true that each civilization is vulnerable. A single particle of despair placed in the right code, the right body, the right mind, can spread like a virus. Yet there is more than one civilization in this universe. The disease that kills one spares another. The sorrow that consumes one drives others to seek joy. Together we survive. Together, we see beyond our limitations, and together, we find reason to hope. For so long as we live, and so long as we have even one reason to hope, the dynamis will change for us. Beyond our despair lies an infinited, infinitude of miracles. We need only open our receptor to them. We obtain physical life eternal and complete mental resonance to determine that, exi to determine that existence is meaningless. Despite all of that, you say we were wrong? Please refrain from leaping to conclusions. Whether the inherent meaning of life or lack thereof can be proven by the existence of miracles remains up for debate. It is weird having you guys on our side. We Ea, have grappled with such questions since time immemorial. You are welcome to join us for a further discussion and gustatory simulation at the cafe before deciding that your civilization was replete with buffoons. <laughs> Please enjoy, have a drink with us. Discuss things with us before we before you start thinking your entire civilization were idiots. That's I suppose that's one way to approach the conversation. Oh, thank you. Your father stole your 
Chocolate yeah, I know, I spotted. <laughs> so long as you keep the doom and gloom confined to your conversation with mentally unflappable beings, that should be fine. And who knows, a nice cup of coffee might cheer you up a bit. I, mm. This unit can vouch for the utility of our beverages in processing th philosophical conundrums. That too. Perhaps you'll even find something new to ponder. It's the little things, as they say. There will be time enough for all civilizations to find hope for the future. Given the proposed eternal opening schedule, this unit has set reminders to look out for the end of the universe in case additional menu items are required. <laughs> oh boy. That's what I'd like to hear. Less fatalism, more carrots of happiness. Ugh, lopperets. The eternal optimists of the universe. We'll have to explore the new Elysian when we have a bit more time. These developments are pleasing, but whence did they originate? Changes occurred soon after Jaffa asked her customers to reflect on her experience at the cafe, no? Perhaps realizing how happy they are increased their faith in a brighter future. Perhaps even the Nibirin were moved by the sight of a world that had not fallen to despair. In any case, the value of our mission is clear. You bet it is. Ah, it's so nice to not have all to do all the, um, all the emotional lifting around here anymore. Do come back and join us from time to time. We'll be here forever. Affirmative. Your labor has been greatly valued. We would be delighted to assign you shifts at any time. This unit jests. Your friendship is also valued. Should you ever need a place to process, you are always welcome for a beverage of indeterminate nature at the last dregs. Hm. Duh. <laughs> oh god, they're having a conference. What do we get at Bloodsworn? So, uh, one framer kit for the uh, thing. And the Cradle Hope Orchestrian. Where are you? Alright, let's see what this framer kit is. Uh, for the Omicron Framers Kit. Take a look, see. Adventure plate. Here we go. Edit plate design. Last drags. Okay, that's nice. So that's the accent. Okay, when did the guitar pixels arrive? That's interesting. There's no frame. But there's the bottom border, which is that. There's the top border, which is that. That's nice. And the base plate is the background of that. That's nice. Yeah, uh, well, it's all the same changes. And let's go take a look, see what this stuff sounds like, shall we? To the house! Cradle of Hope. I'm hoping that's the Elysian um, uh, orchestrian roll. Let's take a look. Let's go take a gander at that. Right, orchestrian roll. Yeah, there 
we go. Equestrian. Let's take a listen to. Yep. Yeah, select track. Where are we? Uh, others. No. Nope. Ambient. It's definitely not going to be in raids. Trials, dungeons, locales. Here we go. Locales 2. Cradle of Hope. Yep. It's the Elysian track. Hee <laughs> Oh, that's getting added to the playlist. There we go. So, uh, that is the entirety of the Omicrons. Try request, and now uh, we have to wait until 6.3 in early January to see the Loperets for the crafters. So that's Disciples of Land, which is the Omicrons. Crafters will be the Loperets coming in 6.3 early January. Well, <clears throat> until the next bunch of stuff, Jeff Archfiend, out.